This tutorial covers using the standalone radio in-game. To start, do slash radio to open the radio. Then click the knob in the top right to turn it on. When logging in for the first time, users will be prompted to go to sonoranradio.com slash link and input a four-digit code. This will link your in-game identity to your Sonoran account. It will also automatically join your Sonoran account to the radio community if you haven't done so already. You can change what channel you're in using the Channel Select button, or using the knob on top. In the settings you can change your volumes, select your mic, and test it to make sure it transmits properly. This is a test. You can also toggle auto gain control if players are having trouble hearing you. You can move and resize the radio to your liking, change its frame, we have another tutorial for customization, and change how the radio behaves when you hit the escape key. By default, you can click the purple button or run slash radio hide to hide the radio, as the escape key will keep it visible. However, if you don't like this, you can change the escape mode. Hide mode will hide the radio when you hit escape, and transmit mode will hide the radio when you hit escape, but automatically show it if you're transmitting. You can set a push to talk keybind in settings under keybindings 5M, and then look for Sonrad Radio PTT. You can also set various other hotkeys, such as hotkeys to change channels and groups separately, or a hotkey to show the radio. Now push your hotkey to transmit. And that is how you set up and use the radio in-game. In part 4 of this tutorial series, I will explain towers and repeaters and how they impact gameplay.